Okay, good morning, y'all. I want to introduce you to how we sow greens and how we manage weeds, which is probably more intensive than that. This here is a little bed of Tokyo Bacana, which is uh, my favorite, fast-growing, very high-yielding green. It's in the bok choy family, but we also sometimes uh, used to call it Japanese lettuce because it looks very lettuce-like. And so you can see we sowed it in four strips that allows us to um, to make our planting very intentional so we can get our weeding equipment very easily in between all of our seedlings and knock out all those weeds. So um, to make those furrows, we actually just use the end of a hula hoe here and just make a furrow in the ground and then drop all of our seeds in and cover them up. Um, now that we've seeded these, last week and all of these little guys are up and now I want to show you how we actually will come in and use equipment to um, knock out all the weeds and you might be saying well what weeds well it turns out there's tons of little weeds let me show you so can you see all those little guys that is when we want to be knocking out weeds right right now these Tokyo Bacana babies are well up ahead of our weeds and it's um, you know, it doesn't look like there's much weed pressure, but in two weeks, if we don't weed, then they might be neck and neck, and then um, some of these weeds might be growing way faster even than the Tokyo Bacana. So we need to get in here and use a tool. This is the wire weeder. I really like this tool. And I can come in here and just scrape out the weeds like this. I can get right up close to the different plants. And now all those weeds have been knocked out this is definitely best done in dry conditions in the afternoon when the sun is blaring on it, so it kills those weeds immediately. You can see there was uh, irrigation on this bed earlier, and I pulled the irrigation aside so we could do this. So this is not best done in wet soil, but it's when I have the time to do this video. The other option is to come in with one of these hula hoses. This is my favorite tool. And you can come in here, and it goes back and forth knock out all those weeds that way come along the side clean that up so you can see how fresh that is that also invigorates um, adds a bunch of air to the soil and scratches the root zone of those baby plants around there and helps them to continue to grow so i'll come through here and put the put the hula hoe or the stirrup hoe in between all of these and then that'll really enliven this whole bed if i wanted to do closer spacing i could use the wire weeder here and come in and do this it's also a much cheaper tool um, if you only want to <clears throat> uh, spend less money so that is how we sow greens and do the same thing with turnips and radishes down in this other bed i'll just show you So these are watermelon radishes. I saw they're coming up really nicely. They're spaced much more um, far apart than the Tokyo Bacana, those greens. So same exact deal here. I'm gonna come in here and get in between all those and knock out all the little weeds that are just starting to come up. As soon as I can see all the cotyledons, which are the first two leaves on these plants, and they're wet, and I can easily distinguish the lines, then it's time for me to get in there and get my first hoeing on. So um, late August, be sure to get in there and sow your greens and at least your, your small roots like Asian um, or Japanese turnips and radishes and all your greens like arugula, lettuce, baby kale, um, and start gearing up to get your spinach in the ground. So that's our little market gardening lesson for the morning hope everybody has a great day